Bam! We're here! It is the drive-in, folks. We're back. Uh, the mysterious episode of Power Rangers to never be. The, the footage got destroyed somehow. So we're watching the next closest thing to Power Rangers. Silence, Silence of, of the, the Lambs. Lambs. One of the... Uh, one of the three movies ever to, to, I think, do the clean sweep, like best best supporting act, or best actress, best lead, best picture, or what is it? When you have, you win like five, it's like best screenplay. It's like best director, best actor, best actress, best uh, picture. That's four. It probably and best then screenplay. Maybe score or screen. Yeah, I know this one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And then some really old film about last night, maybe. That feels like a, a modern day movie. That feels like it is. But in an effort to retain viewership and to keep you guys viewing long, I actually have a mozzarella pearls thing here that I'm going to take a giant bite out of. So and I'm going to, I'm going to, once the movie starts, I'm going to go grab my vape because I'm a degenerate who needs something to keep himself occupied. But we're going to be watching Silence of the Lambs this time. Don't worry, we will have... We've either just had or will pre like currently have Oscar content coming and already up, possibly. But Don't Oscar watch Tar. Be. Don't watch Tar. It sucks. There you go. First take. Don't watch Tar. But this is Silence of the Lambs. We're getting right into it, folks. It's been a while since we've just sat down and watched a full movie. Yeah, I agree. A good one, that. Go check out the Pale Blue Eye. Uh, go check out the Pale Blue Eye on Netflix. Go check out our sort of review of it on the channel right now. Uh, I'll link to that uh, probably somewhere up in the video. But we're, this is this is Silence of the Lambs. Three, two, one, but blast off. I really like that, the, the uh, typography or whatever you want to call it. Like font. the font? Yeah. Strong font. It's very FBI font. Yeah, it is. Right. Jodie Foster's great. Jodie Foster is great. Jodie Foster kind of looks like she'd be like Eminem's daughter, maybe. I can see it. Just like she just looks tough and tender. You grilled me pretty hard, as I recall, on the Bureau of Civil Rights record in the Hoover years. I gave you an A. A minus, sir. Did you have minuses in college or just regular? I, 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 I failed out of college. I made it one year, failed out, dropped out. Well, I'm sure you had some fun. fun. Was it Nebraska? Was it in Nebraska? Fuck yeah, it was. Okay. It, I mean, it's a, drunk every weekend. Yeah, it's a full commitment to the, the XFL gym bit. I totally get it. I did not have pluses. I always wanted like to be able to say I got a B plus instead of just a B because it, it seems more official. It does seem way cooler. There's got to be a Silence of the Lambs one, right? You said por a porno? Yeah. So me and my me and my friends were talking about how hilarious would it be? I think you and me have talked about it too, where just in the middle of any movie, just a full sex scene, like full penetration, yeah. everything. I I fully. Any movie. I fully agree. Any sort of fourth wall breakage or like legit porn, like I'm all for it. Are you strong enough to point that elitist Ivy League academic bullshit perception at yourself? Or maybe you're not man enough. Sperm count too low, doctor. If he, if I, if I walked up and he's standing like that, I'm walking away. Yeah, immediately. He looks way too inquisitive. He looks like he's about to tell me a riddle. What if I show you my pussy? <laughs> what if? Okay. What if instead of a sex scene, they digitally, and say in the Silence of the Lambs Blu-ray, they digitally play cigarettes in everyone's mouths. So everyone's kind of like, it's like an old 40s noir movie where everyone's smoking. I think that that would have to knock it up at least one percentage on Rotten Tomatoes. I think that would be fucking hilarious. So we switch the film to black and white and put cigs in everyone's mouths. Yeah, I'm all for it. That'll definitely happen in our lifetimes if it hasn't already. Like, there, there's going to be um, 
you know what you look like to me? Technology capabilities where we can pick any movie and we can say, I want every single actress to be Lucy Liu in the movie and I want Hitler to be the lead and like you can make it happen. <laughs> I'm being serious. This is it, with AI it, and everything being crazy. Yeah, with AI and deep fakes and everything, like it definitely will happen in our lifetime. Something and it might already be able to happen where like we could have a more accurate representation of like a Harry Potter book. Like, hey, I want you to do an adaptation of the Harry Potter films with Hitler, Lucy Liu, Alfred Hitchcock, Diamond Fox, Lisa Ann, and like they will make it work somehow. R.I.P. August Ames and Sheila Stiles. She's lesser known, but Sheila Stiles also very good. What if, he, what if she was just like, that was a really dumb lisp? Yeah, what if she just immediately just like called him out? What, what if, okay, just call him a gaybo and see what happens. Yeah, I would just, I would, I'd flip. Yeah. She probably didn't even like tell like the guard. I'd be like, hey, like he like threw cum at me. Like, <laughs> just walking. I was like, hey, this guy just threw cum at me. I don't know yeah, what you like, guys are gonna bro. do about it. Yeah, in like a girl's hair too, which is like hard enough to get out. Like that's fucking tough, dude. Starling, sir, Migs is dead. I don't care. Dad. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Who prepays a storage unit for thirty plus years? Is it a jar of cum? I go in here once a year and cum in this jar. I think it would be extra hilarious if it was this big and still just had the jar of cum in. Like, that's the only thing that's there. <laughs> They're like, he could have had three units smaller to, to, to fit this, but he just... For the ambiance. Oh, it's Darth Vader. It's that dude in the gimp mask from uh, Death Race. Oh, God, yeah. Do you like to dance? <laughs> He's going... <laughs> what if she was, like, a size 10? Would he just throw her out at that point? Just throw her out of the van and be like, nah, too skinny. That is fucking absurd. Bill, you're canceled. Yeah, cancel Buffalo Bill. Bill would literally fuck Lizzo until she died. He pro uh, he'd at least kill her. It's sacred to me. There is a woman. I cannot fuck Peppy Le Pew. There is this woman in front of me. I'd love to see an animated Peppy Le Pew fuck Jodie Foster. Give it five years. Yeah, give it five years. Technology's moving at such a rapid rate. See, this is where I would put the sex. Having sex in a museum would just be fucking sick. Like, right after you show the dead body, everyone's all grossed out. You have, like, a, a palate cleanser of a sex scene. I'm fucking the Louvre. I'm Gene Castle with sports, and I'm Tim Langhorn. Our top story Tim Langhorn? Catherine Martin. They got Tim Langhorn for this movie? <laughs> Holy shit. The missing person was now... It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. This movie would be way better if all he did was speak in rhymes. That is true. I agree. Become a trans riddler with a little puppy. It puts the lotion in the basket or else it ends up in the casket. If I see you cry more tears, I'm going to go upstairs and drink some beers. If you do anything to my dog, I'm going to make sure you see my hog. That guy's haircut sucks. Like, this is such an elaborate, sick setup for one guy. How yeah, much is this honestly. Costing? Yeah, honestly. Our taxpayer dollars are going to drone strikes in Syria and fucking Hannibal Lecter set up in the middle of the White House in a giant this cage. This cell is bigger than a lot of apartments. All your answers are in Vin Diesel's directorial debut, Facial. Hold the throne, pick at you, persona. I'll drink your blood like I'm drinking a Corona. Wake up in the dark. And hear the screaming of the lambs. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, 
You could make them stop, don't you? You think, you think like lives? Corey Starling gets triggered you by those memes of like the goat again. screaming? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just it's like the silliness. I'm sure you wish there were some sort of silence of the lambs. Hello, my lady. Hello, my lamb. Hello, my ragtime gal. That would also be awesome. Not my proudest tug. So you're saying with AI, in the future, we could have this exact scenario, this scene, but instead of Jodie Foster, Mr. it's like a blue avatar person. Yes. Well, that will definitely be in the capabilities of AI um, as soon as, I don't know, 15 years down the line. What would you do if you found out you're living right next door to a serial killer? Then I would be super surprised. I would be like, holy fuck. I mean, all those nights coming home late you know what i mean like like you're smoking like out. out yeah you're like smoking outside you just wave at them every once in a while you don't really talk much i had an old neighbor that was just like that it was very rare we'd see him he'd always occasionally he i would hit golf balls outside and he would try to get me to um come inside and take a look at his clubs and i would just kindly decline he did that probably like two times in like a five-year span um you might have avoided it, getting serial killed. Yeah, he ended up killing himself like a total coward, so he's gone. Yeah. Not my proudest tug. Maybe not to completion, but I have definitely like touched myself while driving more times than I'd like to admit. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, yeah. Free, I, freeway in California one time. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm so, I'm so tired. It's like you need a stimulant, and it's like hand on junk immediately going to do it for me. Like it's going to at the least keep calls me. for it. There's nothing. Yeah, more it's going to keep me up. Dangerous driving. Right. Exactly. People can text on their phones and stuff and be fine. Teslas drive by themselves now. It's What's like a couple... uh, it's like solo roadhead. Yeah, I was just gonna say Roadhead's dangerous enough, and you know most people have part partaken in that. So what's what's the big deal? That's what that's what would typecast you for the rest of your life. Yeah, imagine you do this role, and then like just you know twelve percent Rotten Tomatoes. You're like my career's over. Like it's done. It's done. Pussy. Pussy. Not good shape. Proudest. Not my, not my proudest. Yeah, de yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, yeah. Not definitely not my product. That was a nice little area. I agree. So, what? Okay, living by train tracks. Yes or no? Probably not right there. I mean, in the middle of the night, the train coming. Like, I hear you get yeah. used to it. We may be. But I don't know if like I ever it, would. Yeah, even if it doesn't rumble the house, I'm a pretty light sleeper, so like I don't know if I could personally do it that close, like directly in front yeah, like of them. Right like, next to Sort of near them, I could probably do. This is a very elaborate basement. Yeah, I agree. And she really is like a legend for doing this because like she has access to just leave through the front door. I guess she really just wants to save this girl. I mean, me personally, I would have turned around the second he fled left the house and then called in a bunch of people like i get they're going for like dramatic but if someone put their hand that close to your face yeah you would have to heat. you would have to feel it and i just fire one off i'd be blasted i started blasting bah, bah. and there we go that was silence of the lambs people and you got free feet out of it yeah just just flashing the feet if anybody wants to pay me good movie Good movie. Real good movie. Rewatchable, age well, good acting performances. I don't think there's any like major plot holes. Um, I like whenever they do the wrong house thing. Like watching it again, the wrong it house plays. thing really gets you. It's like, oh, this is good. This is really good. It does play. I love all the performances. Surprising amount of close ups. I had forgotten how many close ups were in this movie. Yeah. I encourage modern day Hollywood to do more close ups. I want to see a movie now with just close-ups. So just a candle. Um, I agree. I, uh, you know, I think this is probably, I shouldn't say probably, this is definitely the best movie we've seen. I would agree with that. This is better than It's a Wonderful Life. This is better than, uh, than Ice Guys. Better than Nightcrawler. Better Great than film. Nausicaa. Better than Oscar. 
I'd give it. Uh, we should we should compile it. We should compile our our rankings. I keep I can do a good bit off memory, but it, it will get to a point. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of ten. Yeah, I think that's totally suitable. I'm also gonna give it a uh, a nine out of ten. I think uh, you know, excellent film. Any movie fan out there, fan of the film, can't imagine you hating this. Yeah, give it a watch. It's a great thriller, spooky, great performances, good effects. Agree. It's really the performances holding it together when I think about it. I don't think anyone did a bad job. Yeah, that is true. I think everybody played their part. I think everybody was excellent. Like Buffalo Bill did like an amazing job. Like if he was the lead character and like had to do his mannerisms and his thing, like I think he he, you know, he was interesting enough to do that. Same with Jodie Foster, same with, you know, the guy Pierce look alike. So, but yeah, Anthony Hopkins stealing the show, getting the Academy Award with like 30 minutes of screen time, probably 35 minutes, something small like that. But uh, yeah, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Good movie. Sea salt. I, I agree. I, I mean, once I get off here, I'm going to masturbate to a couple of the scenes. So uh, there's going to be at least a few. <laughs> Wait a second. What the fuck? It says Ted Levine. No. Oh, I know Ted Levine from Monk. Oh, yeah, that Monk. Is. Monk. Yeah, okay. That's that makes sense. From. That makes sense. I used to watch Monk a lot with my grandmother. Good show. Good characters. He describes himself as Hillbilly Jew. Okay. So I'll take his word on that. Ted Levine's yeah. not going for you. Wait, no, Ted Levine's the guy that fucking played uh Buffalo Bill. It's just he looks like the cop in this thing, but yeah, he's from Monk. But so the 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 cop from Monk played Buffalo Bill. Huh. That's wild. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Like piecing it together in my head. That is weird. It looks entirely different. What the fuck? That's wild. Cop from Silence of Ouch. the Lambs. Let's see what cops he's playing. You gotta know when to hold him. Uh, know when to hold him. No, Officer Boyle's the one that we're thinking of. Right? Know when to walk away. Yeah, Officer Boyle. Bill Boyle. Maybe more. Um, who's he played by? Name you Boyle. son of a bitch. Boil. Wish he was. I knew. Either way, good movie. Recommend highly. Uh, I got nothing else. I got nothing else. Thank you all for enjoying this drive-in. Uh, this was a good movie. We'll see what happens on the next movie we watch. We'll see you guys next time for the drive-in. Christian, before we go, what do you got going on in life? Uh, got a short film. Uh, directed and written by yours truly coming out in uh, February. It's going to be really solid. I smash a toilet in it and I completely fucked up my left ankle. Um, definitely tune in. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some uh, Academy Award nomination reviews, Jim and I, over the course of the next couple months. And uh, we'll keep you all posted on what's good and what's bad and what's mid. Damn right. Y'all know where to find me. Uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time for The Drive-In.